Welcome to Move Up with Mike at michaelglass.com, and this is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for Sunday, April 24, 2011. Before we begin our video, we have to share our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be inferred as a trading recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can lose all of your money. Strategies that we show today are for educational purposes only. Future results are not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility. Trade at your own risk. So in today's uh, forex market analysis, we're going to look at the price action from the previous day. We're going to view the daily trend for each currency pair. Look at the support and resistance key price levels to watch. Identify a low volatility watch list a inside bar watch list and then look at the economic calendar to see what releases can affect our currency pairs. So with that, let's begin. Okay, so we're going to begin with our dollar pairs. Right now we have the dollar yen and you can see this push down that we've made. But when you really look at this in the larger scope and I scale out, you can start to see that the the yen dollar, the dollar yen, was in a nice little range, and it was actually a nice tradable range. And then we had the earthquake, which you know caused this extreme. And then we actually broke above that range, but now we're coming right back into the range. So there's two things I want to watch. So on the 60 minute, we can see we do have low volatility. That's that's great. And then I want to watch on the daily that you know it looks like if we do break below Thursday's low. If we do break below that, we've got a falling three candlestick pattern and we could possibly head down at least to test uh, the two swing lows right in here uh, before we start heading back up. Um, now likewise, if we break the high today, then we may be coming back reversing early to go back and test this, the resistance of this consolidation range. The uh, dollar Canadian. Here we are uh, obviously in a downtrend, usually making new lows as we come up and test the 50. And we've kind of put in a little bit of a bottom here. Buyers have, have found some value here. And now we're making the decision of are we going to make that move to the 20 or are we going to push lower? And as we look on this on the hourly, you know, we can see this ledge here that we did not want to break lower. So I want to watch that 0 0.950 price level. Um, I'm sorry, 0 0.95 200 price level to see if we break lower. And I also want to look at the high today because at this point, if we do break higher, we're taking out this candle and we're probably at least going to run into this candle. So I do want to watch both the high and low of Friday's low volatility, low volume trading action. Let's go to the dollar franc. And here we can see that downtrend quite nicely. And we are pushing lower and lower and lower. But uh, just like with our first one, uh, we, we can see that the buyers are seeing a little value here. And But this one, I'm not really ready to go bullish yet. You know, the other one, we, we were taking out the candles that brought us into it. So I, uh, I'm more interested in the short. So the ledge that we're putting in here. 8846 low a day. I'm, I, I may be interested in that depending on the momentum to see what happens if buyers uh, price action moves in the, this wick and whether or not buyers will hold up this price level. So that's what interests me on the dollar franc. We'll uh, switch over to some of the, the euro pairs. We'll go with the euro dollar. And we can see this beautiful uptrend that we're in. Um, and of course, the low volatility that set in based upon Friday's low trading action. But the other thing we can see is in this beautiful uptrend is that typically, once we get our red, we we bounce and we move up. Once we get our red candle, uh, a small candle and a red candle, we usually pull backs. We push higher, small candle, red candle, pull back. Push higher, small 
candle or red candle. Well, this one went for a while, but eventually it, it came it came back. And so now that we pushed higher, I see that we've got a small candle. So if tomorrow's candle uh, or today's candle is 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 red, I will be looking at this move lower. And that's why I am going to watch, even though we're in an uptrend, I am going to watch to see what happens if we break this ledge that we're putting in. Likewise, we want to watch and see what happens if we move higher. You can see we've got some wicks in here. So around a 148 price level is something that I want to watch as this uh, moves higher. Let's go to the Euro Yen. And we can see uh, a, a nice uptrend on this one. Don't, not too often we see the 500 moving average. <laughs> um, and we bounced off the 50. The, uh, I mean, we're in an uptrend on this one. And, you know, I like the low volatility set in. Uh, but I don't like that there's a clear trend set here. Um, you know, there there might be I might be a little bit interested if we do break higher to see if we can run back up here. Um, you know, so we we sort of have a rising three pattern going on here. Uh, if you just were to eliminate what's to the left and just look at these three, um, it look like it's trying to put in a, a, a new swing high, but it also could be putting in a lower high. So for this one, I don't I don't feel a safe trade in this one. I want this pattern to play out. Uh, I want a high probability trade and not a, a guessing the trend trade. So I'm going to pass on that for right now. The euro franc in a downtrend just came and tested the 200 moving average. And this one is even worse than the last one. I mean, this is really in. I mean, look at that. Look at that. You know, why would you trade that when there's so many currency pairs? Why would you trade all of this mess? And so I'm not even going to bother with the the, uh, the hourly right now. I just I just don't see a trend that I want to trade on this one right now. And we'll finish off with the uh, Euro Canadian. This one's trying to move higher. We we put in a low here, and but it looks like we've got some some resistance going on in here. Uh, let's zoom in and we have some resistance in here and we're so close to that that I'm not ready to go long on this one nor am I ready to go short now there's things I want to watch you know you may put in an alert at the uh, the high of the day but right now I'm gonna hold off and just just see what happens here uh, at this these two swing highs before I make a trade now we're gonna go over to the pound pound dollar and we can see this great uptrend and this kind of looks like the uh, euro dollar that uh, as we push up once we get a red candle pull back push up red candle pull back pull back red candle pull back and we got a red candle so for this one I do want to be aware of the, the, the volatility that we're doing here on hourly and if it breaks lower below this 165 uh, price level, then I, I I would be interested in doing a counter trend. But keep in mind, it is counter trend, and in addition, we have a couple wicks here. So this what was once resistance can now be support. And so if, if it comes down, it may only come down here, if 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 at all. Pound yen. And sort of in a range here, there is some resistance right here that I would be interested in if we break higher to see if we can go test that 500 moving average up there. Uh, so this price level is around 135.90, 136 even, right in there. Uh, if we break above that, uh, I'm not ready to take a short on this one quite yet. Let's go over to the Aussie. An Aussie dollar, and this one, you know, as most comparison pairs with the dollar, uh, you know, we could t take that same trade to see if we have something lower. Uh, so coming over to the hourly, I'm gonna watch this ledge and see if we do get a break lower, um, so we can go pull back to the 20 moving average, 
and with our New Zealand dollar we are seeing a, a really nice move higher um, never made it back to the 20 moving average little resistance here um, I don't see an immediate trade except for we're in an uptrend uh, we consolidated for over a day here so if we do break higher of our low volatility we can get dual time frame agreement long term short term frame and we could see a long uh, pan out for the New Zealand dollar uh, taking a look at our watch list here on a low volatility we have the euro dollar we got the pound dollar we got the uh, dollar franc Aussie dollar, Euro yen, the dollar yen, and the pound yen. On our inside watch list, we have the Euro yen and the New Zealand yen. You can find us on Twitter at Move Up With Mike. On Facebook, we have a page, Are You Financially Literate? And on YouTube, you can find us as Move Up With Mike. Uh, we've got some great resources for you a great Forex trading room, Earn While You Learn, No Automatic Billing. Cast back for your forex trades, no matter what you win or lose. So if you you're trading anyway and you want to get a little bit of uh, or a rebate for your trading, uh, this is a great resource for you. Um, a great forex single software help you predict a forex trend for eight hours, and automated trading. If you don't want to have the time to trade, you're working and you're looking for some signal providers. We have a great resource for you there also. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.